Hey, Billy Glisson with PowerPort 360. Effortless power in the golf swing will give you distance, accuracy, and consistency. In the previous video, we talked about what's the best way to prepare before you go to the course or at the course to play your best golf. Even if it's a practice round, how do you do that? Today, we're talking about specifically, specifically about activation. Activation is like turning on a light switch. It turns on electricity to a specific circuit to make certain lights go on well. In the body and the golf swing, we've been talking about to create effortless power. We've been talking about the importance of the backswing to load into the body sling so we create this effortless power to give us our distance, our accuracy, and our consistency. Really, a lot of what we've been talking to you about and showing you is the importance of how to turn, on, turn the hips and shoulders. So we're going to turn on the circuits through the brain and get the electricity flowing through the brain. And it's actually electricity, microvolts that go from the brain down to the muscles around the hips and shoulders to turn them on so they'll actually turn easier, turn further, and turn effortlessly, like so you can load into that body sling. And here's what it's going to require on your behalf. 10 to 15 minutes. My suggestion is to you, before you go practice, before you go to a round, spend 10 or 15 minutes at home wherever you can do it, and it's quick. 10 to 15 minutes will turn on the muscles responsible to turn the hips and shoulders. The hips and shoulders will be open. They'll turn easier. A couple things that are really important, even though you don't think about it that much. We want the spine and core muscles. We want the temperature of them up. Nothing worse than going to the golf course, taking the driver out of the bag, taking a big rip on the first tee without warming up, and you feel something in your back go, and now you're, you're you know, laid up for a week or two weeks, maybe longer. If you do these activities, they're going to warm up the muscles around your spine. They're going to stretch. They're going to be warm. They're going to be prepared. A lot less tendency for you to hurt your back. The warmer those muscles are, the more strength and force they can create. So your injury risk is going to go down, and maybe even just your stiffness after the round. A lot of you are going home, and, and you're probably starting your, <clears throat> your Advil drip. Well, maybe you don't need the Advil anymore. Maybe if you did a better job of activating and warming up your body before you went to the course, you wouldn't need the Advil, the ice, the heat, and everything else you're doing afterwards, right? Prepare like a professional athlete. Let us help you with that. Hey, at the end of the day, it's going to give you effortless power, help your distance, action, and consistency. Bottom line is it's going to help you enjoy your golf more because your body's going to feel better. You're going to hit the ball further, straighter, more accurately, probably going to score lower. Hey, what else could you ask for? Exercises we're going to go through. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to focus a couple exercises on the shoulder, a couple on the hip turn. Okay, first exercise is for the shoulder turn. I've got a Power Core 360 torso harness up around my shoulders. I've got a black band on to my right shoulder. I'm going to sit into a dress posture and just slowly, I'm going to turn back and through 10 times. Okay, second exercise, I've just moved the band from my right shoulder to my left. I'm going to stand in a dress posture. I'm going to turn my left shoulder underneath my chin, and then I'm going to turn my right shoulder under my chin. And I'm just doing 10 reps and staying down into my posture, down into my hips, holding my head still behind the ball, and just rotating my shoulders 10 times. Third exercise for my shoulders. And remember, I'm only doing 10 reps, so this isn't taking long. Still got the torso harness around the shoulders. I've got the band hooked to my right shoulder. Now I have the band hooked up behind my right shoulder. Same thing. I'm going down into a dress posture. I'm going to turn my shoulders back, left shoulder under my chin. And now as I turn down and turn my right shoulder under the chin, I actually have to use my core muscles to turn this out of the way. 10 reps, nice and easy staying in the posture, keeping my head behind the ball. Okay, my fourth shoulder turn exercise. I now have a band hooked to my left shoulder, band hooked up behind me, get into a dress posture, same thing. 10 reps, now as I turn my left shoulder underneath my chin, I have to use my core muscles on the front side of the shoulder and front side of the core. Turn my left shoulder underneath, turn my right shoulder back down and under, pull my left shoulder back out of the way, stay in the posture, keep my head behind the ball, 10 reps. All right, my first hip exercise, I have a Power Core 360 hip harness on. I've got a band hooked out in front of me at floor level to my right hip. I'm gonna sit down in my dress posture, and all I'm gonna do is turn my right hip and shoulder back out of the way, and then turn it down through. Doing 10 reps. Nice and slow, I'm staying in posture, keeping my head still behind the ball, just letting my hips and shoulders turn. Second hip exercise, still got my hip harness on, just move the band to my left hip from my right, sit down into a dress posture, turn my shoulders back into the backswing, 
Turn my hips and shoulder back down toward my shoulders underneath my chin. 10 reps. Stay into posture. Keep your head behind the ball. Wake up those muscles, warm them up around your hips. All right, third hip exercise. Still have the hip harness on, but now I have the band hooked to my right hip and the band is now connected back behind my right hip. 10 reps, same thing. Sit down in the golf posture. Turn my shoulder and hips back. Rotate my chin back underneath my shoulders, clear my left hip out of the way. Stay into posture, head behind the ball, 10 reps. All right, last hip exercise. Band's now hooked to my left hip. It's sitting in behind me. Sit, get into posture, turn my shoulders right into the back swing. Turn my hips and shoulders down into the down swing. Stay into posture, keep head behind the ball, 10 reps. If you like this video, please like it down below. Subscribe to our channel. If you need further information about PowerCore 360, go to PowerCore360.com.